Hey guys, this is Tyler with Tyler's Dragon Tarot. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for any likes, comments, subscribes, all of that great stuff. So I'm going to be trying out something new today. So speaking of comments, if you guys wouldn't mind leaving a comment, let me know what you thought of this video. Um, I'm going to be doing five readings in this video, and I'm going to leave timestamps in case you guys are only interested in like one or two or hell, you know, they could all apply to you because it could be like past energy moving into present slash future or whatever. Um, so anyway, so we're doing this for fire dominant charts. And like I said, if you really, in other videos, if you really don't want to look up your natal chart to figure out what is your dominant element, then, you know, fine. Just go off of what you know your sign to be. Like, your sun sign is what your birthday would tell you, basically. So, like, I know I'm an Aries because of, um, because of my birthday. But the thing is, looking up my natal chart, I'm actually air dominant. Um, but... Well, hell, I mean, you could always just watch them all and just see which one resonates with you best. I mean, I'm kind of like, am I sure I'm not fire dominant? I think I'm talking too much. Maybe I really am air dominant. <laughs> I don't know if y'all get the joke or not. Anyway, <laughs> um, let's get into it. So the first reading is going to be, here's why they left. So like a type of closure you need, you know? Um, for people who need closure. The second reading is going to be, is it really over? So this one was kind of a bouncing back and forth type of energy. So it could be like, if you're trying to decide if it's over, like if someone rubbed you the wrong way, like <laughs> being fire sign dominant is like, okay, are you mad, mad? Are you just mad and need to get over it? Or are you like mad, mad? You know what I mean? Like, are you like, disrespected, not going to get over it, Matt. Um, and it's just going to go crazy. You know, it doesn't just have to be anger, but, like, I feel like fire signs best express themselves through anger. I don't know. Like I said, I'm an Aries, so don't, don't come at me. But, um, anyway, so the next one is, are they the one? So, kind of, see, there's a couple that kind of run into each other, but um, are they the one? The cards that popped out for that were the tower or the lovers. So, it's like going down in flames or, like, up in the stars. You know what I mean? So, the next one would be what is the best move? And this doesn't necessarily have to be love. Some of them, the first three were definitely more... I mean, you could argue the second one what doesn't have to be love, but um, when I was popping out the cards for that reading, trying to figure out what readings I wanted to do, I think it was more love-oriented. But the third one, uh, but the fourth one, I'm on the fourth one, um, what is the best move? That can be anything, really. So the cards that were in the background had two aces in the Wheel of Fortune, whenever I was drawing, trying to figure out how I want to do this. Um, so, it's like trying to figure out what's going to bring you the best results. What's going to bring you the most happiness? What is going to bring you the most fortune, right? So, the last, but I definitely feel like not least, it's kind of been my favorite reading. Um, I feel like uh, is the toxicity blocking your success. So, trying to figure out what is blocking your success? And I I think the air charts had it where it was just like, okay, this is a repeat through the whole readings. Like sometimes it's just like the toxicity just continually shows up through the whole thing and it's like learn your lesson. Anyway, so if you guys watched the introduction, thank you. But yeah, you know, I'm putting this these times in the timestamps and I know um I don't want to shout out impatient, but I know some of y'all just want to get to the point. So I'm putting a timestamp for the first reading, so I know not all y'all watched it. But 
Anyway, I appreciate any likes, comments, subscribes again. And let's just get into it. So I'm going to say about 515. Give me a second to get into the energy. I'm going to pause and shuffle for a second. Oh. Let's see. Get into 515. Yeah. So thank you, Fire Signs. This is your first reading, or Fire Dominant Charts. This is your first reading. Trying to get closure for you guys. Here's why you left. Or why you left. Here's why they left. Eh, hell, it could have been why you left. The energy could always be reversed. But I'm going to focus on why they left. I'm assuming that they left you. And you need closure. So. We have the Hermit. Is this supposed to be reverse? It kind of pops reverse. Okay. Popping out reverse. We're going to say reverse. I don't always take reversals, but I do a little thing with my spirit guide. That's why I'm I'm asking out loud and if you're wondering. Okay, so anyway. This reversal kind of puts me more in the headspace and the the purples. It's like they could just tell. No matter how good it felt, it just wasn't gonna work out. Like there was just something, and they have this little light guiding them that it wasn't going to work out. But because the Hermit's reverse, I feel like this was a rash decision. And maybe they didn't really completely... Okay, I don't, I don't know how many Dragon Ball Z fans are out there or even... But this is what pops in my head. And... Like, you can, it's basically a meditative practice where you, like, practice what you're about to do in your head. Like, they'll do, like, image training in their head where they, like, they're fighting to see where they scale to their opponent or whatever. But it's like they imagined your relationship and with what they perceived as a problem, um... Because maybe you didn't perceive it as a problem. And from the from what they knew about you, which I feel like was a shallow knowledge based on this being reverse. They didn't really have enough information to really make this decision, but based on what they knew, they just didn't see it working out. So I kind of feel like it was a rash decision. It really was. But they just wanted to make the best move for themselves. They wanted to, it's like they've been hurt. So since they saw it kind of, you know how hurt people, they get kind of panicky and they're like, oh, 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 there's a red flag. Like, oh, oop, like, nope, nope, not going through that again. It's like they did that. And then they saw you as their ex instead of you. So they saw how their ex would have interacted in this instead of you. So this person's just hurt, really. They made a rash decision. Oop, oop, are all these supposed to come out? Okay. Okay, so I feel like these two and these two, yes, okay. So we got the Ten of Coins and the Lovers. This is what they wanted to manifest. This is what they wanted to manifest. They wanted, their intentions were to have a loving relationship that fall into balance that, you know, that is just peaceful, and that just, <laughs> and I'm like, if you're a fire dominant chart, maybe you were just a little um, aggressive for them. Maybe you just kind of, you know, and you were standing your ground, but they saw it as like arguing and fighting and blah blah blah. Uh, maybe you were um, arguing and debating just for a little bit of fun, you know. And they got, they put their walls up and got really defensive. Um, again, no shade. 
Aries here. So it may have been that they just they feel like they're a really wounded <laughs> I want to say animal, but that feels really insulting. Like they were just a really wounded person. So they wanted the best, but what they actually ended up manifesting, they actually kind of reversed. They, I feel like this is saying like they got what could have potentially been a great relationship here, but they ended up going back and just like, they're like, okay, yeah, they weren't looking at the reality. They were still just so in their head and in their insecurities and stuff that they just, they created this ending with this death card. The ending of this relationship, like... And honestly, this person, they need space to heal. So if this resonates at all, I don't know. Let me draw. Is there something that can try to... I don't know, maybe the hurting and all that is good enough for clarification, but, you know, I say that, and then the devil pops out. So you could have been dealing with a Capricorn. Gemini and Scorpio are also on the board. If you know their natal chart, maybe those are heavy placements. Um, but the thing is, they were looking for the other half. Maybe they were a little too desperate for it. But they're so hurt and so wounded and so affected by past traumas and relationships. Like, this is a person who either just got out of a long relationship and just really heartbroken, or they were abused and they still just, like, twitchy, okay? And, and I'm not trying to make fun of um, abused relationship. I'm just saying they haven't healed and they're not over it. Like, you just look at them wrong and they flinch, you know what I mean? So, this devil card, they still needed to heal. They still need to take their time. They still need to just clear out their negativity and get their shit together. So, really, this breakup is not on you at all. And just reading these cards, you did nothing wrong. You did nothing wrong here in the relationship. They were just so wounded that they, they just, they have to take time to heal because they, they're taking it out on people. I'm kind of getting water sign vibes, so I'm kind of like, maybe that's Scorpio? Because, you know, I don't, I don't know. But, let's see. I just kind of feel like, is there, is there another card? I feel like, I feel like you guys are like, just a little more, just a little more detail. I feel like I got it laid out pretty well, but I'll try, I'll try. Okay, with that three of cups, that is water. I was kind of searching for an element. So um, I wanted a, I wanted a, um, a sign. I wanted a sign somehow, but um, water is the element on here. It doesn't necessarily have to mean water sign. Earth is pretty prevalent, so, but, um, it's very destructive in this, too. And I, this kind of, like, I'm like, they got cheated on, and that's why they're so hurt and betrayed. So there was probably a lot of conversations of, like, what you doing, like, just a lot of, accusations thrown out that you know you were like why are you accusing me of this I ain't doing nothing like and it's just because they've been hurt they were hurt they got cheated on so yeah again the hanging dragon they need time to heal and now that that's they need time to process this and just get over it you know Whoop, all my cards just fall over huh Okay, I'm going to pause while I pick these up, but I think that reading was done. Hopefully you guys appreciate it, and we're going to move on to the second reading. Mm 
All right, Fire Dominant Charts. Thank you guys for being here. Um, so the second reading is for people who are wondering if it's really over. So, bouncing back and forth. Okay, sorry, like, Maybe this has nothing to do with it, but, like, as I'm shuffling, I'm, like, the tower and the moon right here. And it's, like, stuff just coming out that just, you, you can't escape it being over. But, I don't know. The cards, I like them when they pop out, so I'm not going to take them. But it's just, like, they were, they kind of caught my eyes. Interesting combination, so... Okay, King of Coin. Oop, oop, oop. All these. All these. Yes, okay. Okay, so you pretty much got your whole spread out already. So we got the King of Coins. We got the Eight of Cups. We got the Three of Cups. We got Judgment. And we got the Two of Coins. So I feel like it is you who is considering um, leaving this relationship in this reading. And with this, you got to ask yourself, okay, this is the end goal here. You want a love that's reciprocated. You want equal give and take. You, you want respect back, right? So... There's some jealousy in this. I don't know if there's actually cheating, but it kind of feels like there's jealousy when, you know, maybe you want more of their attention, which is kind of more of a Leo-ish vibes. Um, and Aries kind of too. I don't know if Sagittarius usually falls too hard in that. So you might have, be more of an Aries or Leo dominant chart. Um, but... It is just like you want more of their attention. You, you feel like their attention is going somewhere else, so you're getting your feelings hurt. You, with this card, you're questioning, you're questioning whether both of you are giving into this relationship, and you're waiting, and it's like you're, you're standing still on this judgment right now because you don't feel like you have enough information because you may be a little emotional. So I feel like this is saying, okay, get grounded. Get... We know how you feel, but sometimes fire signs are a little impulsive. And when they... Let's just... You know, they love a certain way, and if they don't get the love back that same way, sometimes it's like, do you even love me? But um, everybody loves in different ways, okay? So maybe you're more verbal, you know, more of a... I forgot what that love language was, but basically just telling them how great they are, more affectionate with... Uh, words and stuff. Admiration, maybe? Um, and then maybe they're more of the acts of service type, where it's like they're uncomfortable expressing it so much. They're kind of like, well, what, what good is words or whatever? Like, why would I say all this? Or maybe they're just shy about saying all those things, but they'll, like, do things for you all the time. Or even just spending their time with you. So... Try not to, don't narrow your focus in one way. Actually look at the relationship as a whole and be like, because, let me just draw a card. How do you feel about them? Other than this whole, I think this one, let me pull them out. Other than this whole, like, are they giving to you because they're not showing it in your way? How do you feel about them? 
So with this dragon wrapped around this sword and these other, it's like those other dragons there. It's kind of like, okay, yeah, maybe you have other suitors and all that, but that's your person. You know, you're not going anywhere. So I feel like you're very affectionate towards them. You, you want this relationship to work. You're holding on to it. And it's like, you know you could go other places, but you're not going there. And you still have loyalty to them. So, you feel that way. So, I think it would be just a good idea just to get out of the emotional state. Get out of the, okay, they're not expressing it how I express it state. And just look at it in a way of, what do they do for me? Do you know their love language? Do you know how they express themselves, how, how they show their love? Because they could be showing you it all the time. They could be giving you all sorts of support. They could be, you know, constantly doing things for you and to show you. And maybe, or, you know, it could be flipped. Maybe you don't care about words and you want to see it more and they're just more of an expressive person. But, we get, I don't know, I'm talking about them not knowing the love language. Let's see. Can we get a card that may give them a hint on the what to think about? Okay, we got the King of Swords here. So I was going to say words, uh, so more of an expressive type of love language. And that could still be true. But I just remembered a reading the other day where, like, this king can create his reality. So it's like they can create this tornado or they can create this bubble and they can focus on either one. They can focus on the good or the bad. So... I, I'm just like, sorry, it's going through a few things. Maybe they just try to pick you up when you're down. Maybe they um very encouraging person. Maybe the creativity thing is there. Maybe they make stuff for you. Maybe they make food for you. Maybe they actually... You know, it's weird. I'm like, maybe they make clothes for you. I don't know why... <laughs> I'm hearing that one, or make jewelry, or make something for you. There's a lot of earth on this table, so sometimes earth just likes to create things like that. So there could be just something that they are creating. That That is where they put it. They like to knit. They like to make jewelry. Something along those lines. You know, they like to use their hands to make something. And it could just be as simple as food. Maybe they cook for you. Um, but it kind of feels like that may be a lead on where you need to look. Okay, so, was that reading done? Yes, okay. So, we're going to move on to, are they the one? So, it may or may not be based on that reading I just did, but let's check it out. This could be for a new set of people. But either way, if you're just joining, thank you. This is for the third reading, Are They the One? Um, could go into, could be based on the last one. It could just be another general. I, I'm trying to view these as three separate, but sometimes there's been a couple where they just really run into each other. Um, so let's get it. So. Um, rah, rah. Are they the one? Are those? Are both those supposed to come out? What about these two? All of them. Okay. Dang. Quick readings today. So, let's see. <laughs> Just for fun, I'm going to draw one at a time instead of getting the whole picture. Oh, no, I'm getting the whole picture sometime better. So, we got temperance. No, last one I was like, this is more Aries or... Leo energy, well, we straight up got a Sagittarius one and card in this card, or in this drawing. 
Temperance, Knight of Wands. Okay, the sun, I, I'm eating my words now. We got Leo here. The moon, that's Cancer. And the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. The sun and the moon kind of pop out to me because it's like night and day. So, um, I think what has you, oh, and by the way, there's four major arcana on the board. So, I think regardless of if this is, or if they are the one or not, this is an important relationship. Um, whether it be karmic, they're teaching you something, or they're just helping you get somewhere in life, like, that sounds kind of, that sounds worse than I mean it to be, but, you know, sometimes people just come into your life for a reason, and this is definitely someone who came into your life for a reason. Whether it be to be with you for the rest of your life, or you just needed them at that point in time, this is... A reading so that night and day really pops out and the thing is I can see this in a couple of different ways it's like they're different than any other relationship you've ever been in or they're just really inconsistent and with as general as this is being and me just saying like fire dominant charts it really could go both ways so honestly okay So I'm going to build this reading off of, um, inconsistent, inconsistent. I'm going to build it off of inconsistent because if they treat you, honestly, like if they treat you better, let's just do the, they treat you better real quick. If they treat you better than you've ever been treated before and you're kind of wondering if it's too good, well, the Knight of Wands is them also. They're only looking at you. So, yeah, it's night and day. It's different than you've ever been. So it kind of makes you question, like, okay, are these good intentions? Like, what what's going on? Like, why is this so much different? Well, it's a good thing, okay? Like, I don't know that you're at... I don't know that these guys are actually going to be looking at this reading. So I'm kind of going to make it quick. Like, kind of feels like the timing's weird because you're still recovering here with that um, temperance card but the will of fortune is there so it's like no let's move forward good things are going you can go at your own pace but that will is turning you know what I mean so draw another card I'm gonna put these a little lower that way I I can go back to the inconsistent reading we got the high inference that is creation like in that insecurity, in the worries about, okay, like, will this happen in the past? Who cares about the past? Because this is good. Okay, it's bringing a balance to your life. It's, it's like good things are happening to you now, and you're like, wait, why is stuff just so good? And it's not even just about the relationship. It's like in other areas of your life, it's just good. So, honestly, it's like, why are you even questioning right now? Um we draw another card. Yeah. So, just let go of the insecurities. We're all good here. Nope. Nope. Okay. Yep. Come out of your shell a little bit. It's all good. Okay. So, I really doubt there was a lot of people that were worried on that one. So, we're going to go back to the inconsistent one. But my dogs are going a little crazy. So, I'm going to pause for just a second. Okay, guys? Okay, guys. Sorry about that. My dog. I don't know, barking at squirrels or something. But anyway, so hopefully that got enough information if you were in that group that I just read for off of this. It's just like, it's like night and day. It's different than any other relationship because you really ain't got nothing to worry about. There was a lot of love on that table. Like, it ain't bad to be treated different, you know? It ain't bad when all you've experienced was awfulness. So now... I just wanted to get that one off just because they were both in my head. But now we're going to go for the inconsistent one where it's like, okay, this is wearing you out. 
because it's like, it's making you wonder, do they like me, do they not? Eh. Like, they act this way, then they act this way. They act, you know? So, and with this Knight of, uh, I want to call it Flames, Knight of Wands. Uh, Knight of Wands, it's like, you see them, you're going after them very passionately, and it's like they're hot and cold. So, like, one day they're the sun, you know, very um, warm and bright, and one day they're the moon, which sometimes you see the moon, but it's not as bright as the sun, you know what I mean? It's it's there, but it's, if it's a full moon, it's pretty bright, but then, like, some, you know, the moon can come in phases, so it's just like, it can go... It can hide and hide a little more and more. And then one day, you don't even see the moon at all. And then all of a sudden, it's a full moon again. Like, well, you know, it builds back up. It's not just, like, disappearing in full moon. But um, I think <laughs> there's just inconsistency, inconsistency on how you're treated. And it kind of feels like love bombing. Like, you just get all this attention and affection and just a lot of love. And then... They just start withdrawing and ghosting, so. And with that will of fortune there, it's like, when it's good, it's like, it's going, whoop, you know, it's it's moving fast. It's, it's very, it's very, like, speedy. And, but when it's, but when they're starting to withdraw, it feels like you're taking, it's like you're taking one step forward or even three steps forward and then like five steps back, really. So, I think really what's what it feels like on this. Okay, what are their intentions? What are their intentions? Let's draw a card. Because I want to draw one more card. I feel like some of y'all are like, what were you going to say? Okay. I want to draw another card just to kind of see their intentions. But what I was going to say is it kind of feels like maybe, I don't know if it's you, them, or both of you. But it feels like when it's the sun side, when the sun's out, when it's sunny, you get too excited. You, them, both of you. Too many promises are made. Like, maybe you start talking about the future too much. Like, this kind of feels like a newer relationship, and it feels like what would be best is the baby step. But then because of this, it makes you insecure and wonder where they are, and then, like, grand promises come out when the sun's out. And so when the sun disappears, it's like, where was that energy? Okay, so let's just... Kind of feels like it needs to be a enjoy each other's company for now, you know, see where it goes type of thing and stop talking about it. It's almost like, are y'all talking about marriage like a month into dating or something? Like, y'all getting too real too fast. So, like, it, it's almost like it's fun in the moment, but then they're like, oh, shit, what did I say? Like, it makes them too anxious, like, when they think about it, you know. And the moment, maybe they feel it because... It feels like there's a lot of passion here, but, and that's kind of why I wanted to draw another card, but I don't know. I just had like a little voice in my head being like, they wanted to hear what you wanted to say. So, um, or say it, say it. So this card, their intention. So we got the four of swords here. And I kind of feel like this backs what I say. It's kind of like they see you as someone very, as potentially very special. But, you know, it feels like they still have their insecurities. They still have, you know, they still need to get to know you more. So when they talk about, when you talk too far into the future, they just get a little nervous. Well, that's Six of Swords. I feel like 
the swords are being put into the ground. So the conversation is being grounded, like I was saying earlier. And it's like, let's be a little more calm and rational about the conversation. Let's not get our ho- heads too far into the clouds. You know, let's be a little more realistic. Like, like I said, month of dating, talking about marriage. Like, some people do it. Some people get married after a month. And some people in that category are married for the rest of their life. And some people in that category are married after six, are married, are divorced after six months. You know what I mean? So, it's just like, let's, let's calm down about that talk. Let's not get too high up in the sky. Let's figure out each other a little more. Let's. We don't even really know each other type of energy. Um, like, there's a lot of passion, a lot of bubbly feeling, a lot of happiness in this relationship. Probably, I feel like there, there's very intense feelings on both sides, but it's okay to recognize those intense feelings, it's okay to feel them, but, you know, it feels like this person gets a little skittish whenever you're, you push too much for, like, future plans with them, like, that are too, I don't know, like, like I said, marriage after a month of dating, like, it doesn't feel like they want to go anywhere else, they're very interested in you, but, That's a little much. And we got the justice. You could be dealing with a Libra with that. Um, Just got to throw out the signs. I I think I said it earlier. uh, Sagittarius, um, Cancer, Leo, and now Libra is on the board. (laughs) But we do have all elements on the board, so yeah. Anyway, so with that justice, I think this is just a reminder to do what is in your best interest and what is in their best interest. They're going to do what's in their best interest, and they want to stay balanced. They want to stay calm, so don't take away their peace, you know? (laughs) I just feel like saying, the fire is still going to be burning, if you don't, like, <laughs> if you don't just throw a bunch of shit on it, you know, if you don't, you don't have to have this, you don't have to try to just add fuel and add fuel and add fuel, because it feels like, it. it's like it's so addicting, it feels so good to you that you're just trying to build it up and build it up, well, you're going to get burnt out that way, so just enjoy the fire for what it is, the passion for what it is. You know, let it keep you warm. Let it keep you excited. And don't get burnt out because there is a lot of good feelings in this. But let's, I feel like this whole reading is, this could potentially be a very good relationship. But you got to reel it in a little bit. You got to, you got to try to keep it balanced. Like, I know you're excited, but... You're coming on a little strong. And of course, this could always be reversed. They could be the one coming on a little strong. But maybe they come on a little strong and then they go, shit, what did I say? (laughs) Okay, and we got the Page of Wands. So it kind of just feels like, well, that Page of Wands okay, we said all these things, let's just, let's just take that off the table and start, and make our conversations go another way, because it almost feels like, when the sun comes out, like I said, y'all, you get insecure because of the moon, like when they start retreating, so you start talking about where it's going, what it is, and blah, 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 so much, look, if they said, yes, we're dating, we're committed, blah, 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 let it be for a little bit, you know, if that's what you want, that's what you want, but they ain't gonna marry you tomorrow, you know what I mean, 
So with those page of ones, it's like reel in the passion. Let's start it over. Let's let's not talk about that crazy stuff, and let's just. Get to know each other and enjoy each other's company a little bit. You know, honestly, like, this this is really starting to repeat itself. So, there's just communication that needs to happen here. And not like marriage. It's just like, okay, we came on a little strong. Let's, let's kind of just not talk about that for a little bit. Let's just date. Let's get to know each other. Um, you know, let's... Let's not burn out. Let's just enjoy the fire. Enjoy the momentum. Let's not force it. You know what I mean? Okay. So. Four. Oh, uh, I'm going on to the next reading. I have them numbered. So. Um, Four. Let me shuffle for a second. I'm going to timestamp it a few, a little bit ahead. But okay, there we go. So thank you, Fires. Uh, dominant charts. Now we're going into what is the best move. And again, this does not have to be love-related. This can be whatever, you know? It's just indecisive energy, and you trying to decide what is best for yourself. So, yeah, we already got a card. So we got the seven of I wanted to say coins. Seven of swords. So, with the seven of swords, there's a lot of dark and a lot of gray, and it's like you're focused on that. But there's green here. There's a little bit of healing. There's a lot, There's a little bit of blue. Communication through healing. I, Healing through communication? Um, you need to talk about your... Feelings don't just repress them, you know. And with those purples, I'm just like, you're gonna know if they're lying to you, and then if they're lying to you, then it's just clear. Just you don't know for sure what happened, you know. That's not clear, but their intentions become clear. They don't have respect for you. They don't. They don't respect you enough to tell you the truth, right? Or they're too selfish or scared to tell you the truth. They're being deceptive. And, you know, I'm talking to fire dominant charts. Okay, like, y'all ain't about it, right? Y'all ain't about it. Y'all ain't about being deceived. Y'all ain't. We need some damn loyalty. We need some damn truth. And don't be putting out that shit. You know what I mean? Okay, so. With this High Priestess, this may have been you. I think you need to talk to someone about what you're trying to create. Maybe get some ideas, bounce some ideas off of someone. But not someone that would just steal from you. You know what I mean? And that may be where that intuition came from. Because I'm kind of looking at this High Priestess and I'm like, Trying to create something, but I I don't know. This doesn't really feel relationship related. This kind of feels like you're trying to create maybe a business, maybe just trying to create your own happiness in some way. Like, what are you trying to create? What? A new way of living with this. Six of Cups. You're trying to create a new way of living. So maybe you're living paycheck to paycheck and you're just trying so hard to find a way to not live that way anymore. Like, there's got to be a balance in there somewhere, right? Like, okay, like, don't have to be filthy rich, but, like, I want to be comfortable, right? So with that Seven of Coins... I feel like you have an idea, but you're a little nervous about pulling the trigger here. You're a little nervous about pulling the trigger. And with the Page of Wands, it's because it's something you have never done before. You've never done before 
you're new, you're inexperienced, and you need to learn about it, right? But just being real here, if what I'm saying is accurate, like, what is it going to hurt? It kind of feels like you have no place to go but up, right? Um, and I'm not trying to be judgmental. I'm not trying to be rude. I'm just trying to say, like, what do you have to lose? Like, why are you holding back? So, what is making you nervous? Is this the card for that? Yeah. With this. It's like it's... With him being boxed in with the swords there, I'm like, are you going after something that you're afraid you won't fail because it's kind of niche? Like, maybe only so many people succeed in it. And that's why you gotta... Like... You got to just, with those bubbles that are even included in that, you got to be special just to even stand out in that anyway, is how you're looking at it. Well, you know, you never know until you try, and it's kind of worth trying, you know? And with this nine of coins, I feel like this is saying, don't ignore any success you have. Appreciate all the success that you have. Have that on your mind while you manifest other things, while you manifest more. Keep your gratitude for what you've gained, um, for how far you've come in your mind while you manifest more. And I think that is the secret to how you will succeed. It's just don't let yourself get insecure. Don't let yourself... Be down. Always remember, okay, you started from scratch. Okay, even if you're only two steps ahead, be grateful that you got two steps ahead because maybe some people got negative five steps. You know what I mean? Five steps backwards. Um, and we got the nine of swords. I think this is this is saying you're afraid you will not be seen for everything. But the thing is, although not all of this is seen, the head is still out there. The head is very visible, the um the mouth and everything. So there is clear communication. What you're worried about is the stability of this. But the thing is, the eyes, everything, <coughs> excuse me, some of your, I just got like a really hard tickle in my throat, so I'm like, you might have to focus on your throat chakra a little bit with this. It may have something to do with communication. It may, you're getting your opinion out there, you may be nervous to do that, um, But there's going to be communication both ways is kind of how I'm feeling this. Even though you're nervous about all that, you can still hear, you can still speak, you can still see where it's going. So try, try not to let your fears guide you is how this is feeling. And with the emperor. Stability, the emperor is stable. The emperor is strong. The emperor kind of demands their success. The emperor knows the worth. The emperor, and I'm not saying this in like a, they'll take it from someone, they'll be rude to anyone. It's just know your worth. Know you can have stability. Just have that confidence in yourself. Have that confidence in yourself. And you could be an Aries with this. But know your worth. And have that confidence. And hell, just go for it. See what happens. See what happens. 
okay? Because um, I don't know how this is feeling. It kind of feels like a creative side project, you know? So, and it kind of feels like it's within reason to try it out. I'm not saying quit your job or anything. I'm just saying it's within, it feels like it's within reason to try it out. So why not give it a shot? Right? Okay. Just believe in yourself and be grateful for the success that you earn. Right? Okay. So now we're going to go on to the fifth reading. The toxicity blocking your success. I'm going to pause it. Okay, guys. So now we're going to get into the toxicity blocking your success. If you're just now getting in, um, if this is the only reading you wanted to watch, or whatever, uh, maybe you watched a different one. Anyway, whatever. I still, I'm grateful. Thank you for watching. Any likes, comments, and subscribes, and all that wonderful stuff is greatly appreciated. Um, please let me know what you thought of the video. Um, Okay, so, toxicity blocking your success. And we got the four of coins, cups. I am not saying the right suits. <laughs> um, four of cups, so. You're not, I don't know if it, it's like you're too friendly. <laughs> That's a weird way to put it. Like, maybe you're too talkative. Um, you're not really... It just feels like you're focused. You're not focused enough, really. Because there's, like, three things there. There are three things. And you're not really picking what you want to do, what you want to put your energy. You're not really putting your energy completely into one thing that you want that you want so uh, that's kind of how that it's feeling to me like the toxicity blocking you is not having faith like you're like okay if this doesn't work out we'll do this and, you know we'll have a few things running at the same time um, because you really don't have faith in any of them so, the talk, yeah, the toxicity is your lack of faith. Okay, so now we got the Five of Cups. I feel like this is saying the next stage of this is. Okay, you had a little rock to land on. You didn't have any faith in it. It's like you were tired, and then you lost your wings, and now you're, like, swimming through the water, exhausted. So, not having faith and not having the vision to just really see one thing through. And just trying to, like, see where multiple things go at once. It's causing you to lose everything in the end. And it kind of feels like that's cyclical for you. Like, um, you don't know, you really can't see something working out or you don't have enough faith or you're just like, uh, maybe I should have, this could be relationship uh, wise. Maybe you should have a couple people on the side just in case, but then you end up with no one in the end. And, you know, you're like, this is why you have a couple people on the side, because then if one doesn't work out, you still have a couple, right? Um, so with these cards, whether it be projects that you're doing, trying to find your niche, trying to find your success, trying to find what will bring you income, what will bring you success, or 
trying to find a successful relationship, you need to realize that your worth is there. Like, there's kind of a, yeah, see with that eight of coins, you str- you hold on to two things at once and you're struggling to carry them both, so you get exhausted and drop them both, right? So, um, this water energy here does not feel stable. It, the water, the emotions do not feel good at all. And it's like, you have no love for yourself, basically. You, is that what that's saying? Yeah. Okay, you have no love for yourself. So you think others won't. So you're just like, basically just seeking attention. So when you're alone, you don't have attention and it makes you feel worse. So I feel like this is saying, okay, we need to, we need to heal this energy up here, all this negative emotional trauma there. We need to heal that because what is actually going to bring you success is, or why you're not having success with this combo here, the Ten of Coins, the Nine of Coins, and the Magician. You're not, the Nine of Coins is the slowest moving knight. You see, you see, he like make sure the foundation's good, you know, can, you know, help check the foundation and if there's a crack you know okay we need to fix that you know whatever really gives time to evaluate really gives time to see through see things through so and with the ten of coins and the magician those are manifestation cards so you're not giving anything time to manifest you're not giving it the faith you're not giving it you're not giving it the work it deserves. Because sometimes you have to be slow and steady. You're not giving it the patience. You're not giving it the... You're not giving it the love, the patience, the TLC. Because maybe you have a rundown house. And, you know, some people just aren't meant to build it up. But to build it up, um, to repair it, to, you know, whatever. But some, But sometimes there's just a diamond inside the rough. You know what I mean? I feel like I'm just saying a bunch of weird shit now, but <laughs> I'm not saying you have to be with a damaged person. You don't have to be with a perfect person either. But everyone's a little bit, you know, we're all kind of middle ground. No one's perfect. And it, you know, some people are a little bit more damaged than others, but you need to heal all this emotional stuff because. I feel like these cards are saying you're getting too impatient to really see the end result. All you're really seeing is what you want to. You're not really seeing the physical, the what could actually be. So you kind of give up before you get hurt type of thing. And with that seven of coins, cups, maybe you're just the type of person that really likes to have options. I don't know, but it kind of feels like you like to have options, but you also want to be in a relationship. It kind of feels like you go back and forth here. So this is kind of a confusing read for me, but, oh yeah, we're doing the toxicity blocking your success. So honestly, I've always been on the monogamous side of relationships but I don't know maybe the other side would work better for you okay I gotta know from spirit guides like I I don't want to shame other people for choosing that lifestyle it's just you know I doesn't personally work for me but maybe it would for you and then like spirit guides said no Like, no, don't go that way. So maybe that's, maybe I'm misreading this somehow. My other thought was, how this was working is, 
you need to make the decision. Like, do you? It's almost like single relationship, single and fun relationship, single and fun relationship. Well, either it's like, okay, yeah, you don't want to be in that other. Is it polygamous? I don't know. Relationship because if you got in a relationship, like, lock it down. So it's almost like these other ones weren't really official. I guess is didn't get too far into the relationship, but um, but it's kind of like if you really got into one, you'd want it to be locked down, basically. Like, but you also want to keep your options open, and you're like. What it's basically like trying to find the best person for you, so you're dating around. Okay. <sighs> um. The toxicity blocking you is this constantly wondering if something better is out there, and not really giving people a chance like not really putting in the effort or the work to see if a relationship will work out because it's like you get that initial spark and then like if it dies down a little you're like done well that's actually pretty natural in relationships but it almost feels like you're like no it's supposed to stay (laughs) and with that six of Swords, it feels like you're just like, I just have to be sure they're the one. This is a hard reading for me, because I'm also like, well, if that's your style, they're, you know, if you're not sure about someone, if you're not, like, official, if you've made that clear, if you've dating, if you're talking to a few people, just trying to figure it out, just trying to see... Where it, if you're even interested, like I, sometimes the attraction fades even in the talking phase, in the talking phase. So it's like, I kind of get it. This one's kind of like, I'm kind of going back and forth between like reading the cards and just trying to think logically, but like, I don't know. I think the the real problem is you're always looking, but you're never finding. And oh, okay. I think I get what the toxicity is now. Okay, it it took me a second to get there. It took pretty much this whole reading. But you're looking for someone else to validate you. You're looking for someone else to complete you. You're lo- <laughs> that is what you're looking for. Look, relationships are great, you know. If you want to be in one, you know, most people do. Love is something amazing to feel. It really is. But the thing is, you can't get in it just to try to find someone to complete you. Because the first time they do something wrong, you're going to kick their ass to the curb. And, you know, no one's perfect. I'm not saying you need to stand there and... Be with someone who just does you wrong time after time after time because no one's perfect. And I'm just saying, like, the first time they do... It should probably be more of the first time they do something you don't like is more of what I should say. Like, I, I just to be a little extreme, like, oh, they... I know there's people that probably do... That might watch this and do this, but it's just like, oh, they mix their mustard and ketchup oh that is gross bye but like you can't just do that to people like you know 
I mean, you can't, whatever, it's your life, but the point is, like, you're looking for someone to validate your existence, pretty much, when you need to validate yourself. So, this, honestly, I think the best move for you here, the toxicity blocking your success here, is that you're so desperate for someone to just complete you. You need to take some time alone and complete yourself. You need to figure out that you are good alone. You need to figure out that, you know, romance is awesome. But so are you. You're, that way you stop taking relationships that are less than your worth. You need to realize your worth. That way other people see your worth and you get treated as such. Hopefully y'all stuck around for the ending of this reading. Because it took me a little bit to get there. It took me a little bit to realize, oh, this is what it's saying. Um, because it was a lot of bouncing back and forth. Like, it wasn't very clear until, boom, okay. And I feel like that's probably what it's like being in your head. Like, you're just so back and forth, back and forth, like, unclear, like, you don't know what you're doing. You don't know what you should do. You're so anxious. Well, take some time for yourself. Take some time for yourself and just, you need to love yourself. Yeah. Yeah, with that Queen of Swords, be honest. Love yourself. Find your own happiness. And I feel like I was saying, you don't have to, like, reject people. You don't have to strike out at people. You can date a little if you want, but you really got to just, you got to work on the whole, um, I need you to complete me thing. Like that desperation. You got to appreciate you. So I'm going to end this. You guys can listen to this if you want. If you don't, I, thank you for watching and all that. With just a little story that, okay, I drew the seven of coins, by the way. It kind of felt like it needed to be out there. Um, like, again, it just kind of feels like your insecurities are on that card. Like, you're kind of, you, yeah, like, you're just like, I'm just going to stand here because no one wants me and I'm, you know, type of thing. Well, want yourself then, you know? So, I had a friend. Okay, you can, this is about building up your confidence. And I'm just trying to help you guys. But if you don't want to listen, you know, whatever. Um, I, I think I'm done with the reading. So, I had a friend that told me once that he built up his confidence by just telling himself good things to, to himself in the mirror. You know, complimenting, constantly complimenting himself in the mirror. And other people might do it different ways, but that just, that's always stuck with me. Like, wow, like, you just got to give yourself that love, you know? And if you're seeking attention, give it to yourself, you know? Let let you give you the attention, you know? So, it's just like, I've always thought, okay, you can go ahead and fake it till you make it, tell yourself great things um, to try to make yourself up. But if you don't really believe it, I don't know how good it's going to be. So, you really need to look at yourself and just... Even just trying to look at it, because it prob it feels like you could probably love more other people more than you can love you. Just being honest, the vibe I'm getting off of this. So, you need to look at yourself like you would look at another person. And just say, why is this person amazing? What is a good quality about them? And if you can just find one that you truly mean, that you truly appreciate about yourself, hold on to it. Hold on to it and keep telling yourself that. Okay? Until, and hopefully you can find more than one. But even if it's just one, as long as you really mean it, just that can, build, that can be your building block. Okay?
So hopefully this reading did something for you guys. I appreciate y'all um, watching, and you guys have a great day.